everybody, Bonnie here. Hope you guys are doing great. Yep, I'm sitting in a different location. <laughs> the dining room table is a complete mess. It's full of crafting stuff. The girls have been painting things and I've been trying to organize stuff so things get set on the table and it would have taken an hour <laughs> just to clean it off. So I'm sorry if the windows behind are a little glary. I literally took like half an hour trying to find a place for me to do a video with good light and then so I could still have something next to me um, to put my stuff. I've got Mr. Lumpy, our broken huge chair that we all love. And if you hear any water running, it's the fish tank. I don't know if you can hear it. I can hear it. It drives me crazy. I Seriously, anybody want a 20 gallon fish tank? Anyway, I have finished a few things this past week and weekend and I'll just get to it. The first thing I finished was the Jar Cozy from Ella at No Catchy Name. Ba -bum. I had showed you guys my progress on that last time and it's finished. I did add a couple more rows because this is a huge, huge jar. Wow, that's what I keep my yarn scraps in and I do have a huge pickle jar. It's behind me. Um, maybe I'll make a giant jar cozy. I don't know, but isn't it cute? I did put safety eyes in the middle there. Um, yeah, and um, I that's what I keep my crochet hooks in also, our jars. So this is an old salad dressing jar. This is an olive jar. I think I'm gonna make some more cozies. These sit on my desk. Um, so yeah. Oh, and these little guys are the button monsters my grandma made. They go, the hole in the middle goes around a button like on your shirt or wherever. Um, I think they're double crochets. They look like a star kind of with double crochets. Anyways, I just keep those in my, in my jars. So I made that, which was really fun to make. And then also, um, the wind has been really been whipping up here. <laughs> And I didn't have my hat with me and then like the wind just got me right in the ear and I was just like, oh, I wish I had an ear warmer. And then I just remembered, hey, Karen from Happiness is Homemade has an ear warmer pattern. This I will link it below um, to Ella's pattern and this one on Etsy's where I got them. It is the Raspberry Stitch ear warmer. It was so fun making the Raspberry Stitch. I loved it. I can definitely see more of these in my future. I just have a fuzzy on it. This is my ear warmer. Very, very cozy, very useful. And since it's a smaller project, I think I might take these to work and start making stuff at work and crocheting because it just gets kind of boring on my breaks. <laughs> um, sitting there looking at my phone. But anyway, the yarn I used for the uh, ear warmer is this, Bagnetta. Um, that I got at thrift store for $1.49. It is Vanna's Choice. And this is the one where I had taped her face because <laughs> it came apart. Um, but this is, I think, 100% acrylic. And so that's what I used for that. And the buttons are, when I got a bunch of buttons, there was a video, I think it's still up, vintage buttons. Um, there was a whole bag of these at the thrift store. So those are the ones that I used for this. It's really cool. I love, I just love old stuff like this. I just love it. So I made that and I have been working on um, Lydia's shawl. I'm using a seven millimeter hook for that. That I, uh, her shawl that I had made from one Karen cake and then it wasn't big enough to like really wrap around her. So I have started, I think maybe the last three rows. This is um, a double crochet, solid granny square. And um, this is a velvet teal that I'm using to go on the bottom of this, which I really like how the colors are working up. Uh, Lydia had chosen this one. This was chosen for that, which I am keeping in my bag right here 
and I just noticed I took this to the library yesterday we finally went to the library after months I don't know we just didn't make it in we have a croissant bag this is one of those bags that fold up it's hilarious and kind of embarrassing but it works um I'd crochet a bag for the library but with the amount of books we get it would be so heavy uh oh the yarns that I used for my cute cozy the middle is Karen Simply Soft and the white is from the Dollar Tree and the green is um, Red Heart Super Saver. Orange is, I think it's Pumpkin um, from the Dollar Tree in the, no, from Michael's. I'm confused. It's Red Heart, the orange beard. <laughs> the dark green hat was some yarn that a friend of mine gave me. It's acrylic, I don't know. What? It was called. I better put my hook back in with um, Lydia's shawl so I don't miss, ooh, miss place and then it's falling. Okay, so what do I have left? Oh, this I have been wearing a lot and I wasn't sure if I would like it. Remember this? It's made of tomato, um, latte cake, and Pepper Ash, I believe, is the gray and the white. But this is where I had messed up on the ends because I accidentally increased every single row. This is half double. <laughs> so both ends look like that. Um, and then I didn't wear it for a while because I was frustrated with latte cakes. But, oh my goodness, this is so soft. I've been wearing it like this. And then the stripe comes right here. And I really like how that is. I just, I don't know, I, can't, I think I might make another scarf with the stripe in it. So yeah, I'm gonna take that off because I'm not outside. <laughs> and yeah, um, I'm still working on the Golden Girls and still working on the Granny Blanket um, from a few videos back. Hope to get that done this weekend. And oh my gosh, you guys, I'm so excited. There is a fiber festival coming up in June. I've never been to one and it's called the Tip of the Mitt. It's in the uh, upper part of the Lower Peninsula. Um, and I'm in the Upper Peninsula. So it's like about four hour drive, but I really wanna go. <laughs> Nick's making fun of me. He's just like, okay, then you can't go. So me and the girls are gonna take a road trip and hopefully meet my sister and her family there in June and so I am excited about that. And there's also a craft show coming up April 25th. It's local. It's in a, it's a smaller one. Um, the tables are only $10 and I've never been to it as like a customer or a vendor. Like I've never been there. Uh, but I'm thinking about doing it, like selling stuff there but I don't know because it's April 25th and that's coming up. And do I have anything made for it? I have some stitch markers. I've never seen stitch markers, you guys, at all the craft fairs I've been, ever been to. I've never seen them. So that's something that I would sell. But I'm <laughs> the deadline to, um, to like register for it isn't for a while. And I kind of know the lady that runs it, but it's not enough time is it April 25th what is today today is the 6th of March I don't know but I always really really wanted to do a craft fair that's something I've never done something that I really want to do there's a humongous one here it's like $100 a table like I'm not doing that one yet I figure 10 bucks you know whatever <laughs> probably shop it too <sighs> hmm I just don't know. Oh, and one more thing. We went to the thrift store looking for dinosaurs because we all like them. I'm rocking, you guys. I'm in a rocking chair. And if it's the floor is squeaking, not me. <laughs> um, but they had, I should have taken it out of the bag, but I didn't. Um, this crochet thread that I got for $4, $3.99 for both of these. Oh, and there's a ball of it stuck, it's white. There's a ball of it stuck in the middle there. 
it's, it's like a honking thing. There's a lot there. And maybe I'll make myself a, a wrap that it could double as a table runner. <laughs> um, and then this is an off-white color. Um, I think just that would be really fun to work with one day. <laughs> and I also found this from the 80s. It's got a price tag on it from a store that used to be around here. Uh, it is cross-stitch from 1980, it says on the back. I've never done cross stitch. I can embroider, so um, I've always wanted to try this. In precious moments, I mean, who doesn't love precious moments? So I had to get that. I think it was like, I think it was a dollar or something. And then, oh, you gotta see this. I'm gonna, well, you can hear her wrinkling or him. Amber. No, this is awesome. If you've been watching me for a while, you know that Amber from Crinkle Crinkle here. I'm just trying to get the body parts out. Okay. Amber from Uwa Crochet, she had done a crochet along for school and I'd sent her some stuff and then she sent me a thank you head. And she sent me this. His hair is all messed up. Um, Briella named him Head. I'm not going to put it on anything. I, I don't want to, I don't want to ruin it. This is our head. It's, um, I just put it in different random spots around the house. <laughs> Look at this guy. And this one's like brand new. A little bit bigger with, with the hands. Um, whoo. Oh, this is perfect. I've got the jar cozy right here. Oh, nothing says St. Patrick's Day like that. I should make a little leprechaun hat. I'll just set that over there. But I am a child of the 80s and I love the 80s. And I want to crochet the 80s too. That's been going through my head. And um, anyway, I had to get this because it's hilarious and cute. And it's part of my collection. <laughs> um, yeah. I had said a while ago that some things would be coming in February. I wanted to start my blog and start an Etsy shop and other things. And then we got sick and nothing got done in February. Except for Sage's birthday party. <laughs> that is about it. Um, so now I'm aiming for March to do that. I've already started writing. I've always wanted to do that for years and years before I even did um, a YouTube channel at all. I've wanted to do a blog and... I think finally the timing is right so I will keep you posted and I am working on a pattern for my blog and I have so many in my head so many patterns that they need to come out <laughs> so hopefully in March and in the spring things will start happening um yeah just want to keep my word with you guys so um that's what I have to show you today um yeah thank you for watching and thank you those of you who have subscribed and have stuck along stuck around um i appreciate it and i'll be seeing you guys soon bye bye <laughs>